Hello and welcome to Pradhaps Anesthesia. Today we're delving into the world of mechanical ventilation. In this video, we'll explain what is mechanical ventilation, its historical perspective, the normal breathing process, role of alveoli, how mechanical ventilation works, uses of mechanical ventilation, and finally we'll see pros and cons of positive pressure ventilation. Mechanical ventilation. Mechanical ventilation is a medical procedure that uses a machine to help people breathe when they can't do it effectively by themselves. It delivers the controlled air into the patient's lungs to maintain proper oxygen levels and remove carbon dioxide. In the 16th century, Andreas Vesalius, who is known for his work in human anatomy, described the use of a bellows-like device to aid respiration in some animals. Early attempts at this were basic and didn't gain widespread use, but this has become an initiative for mechanical ventilation. Before getting further into our topic, we see how we are breathing, because understanding how our bodies obtain oxygen and remove carbon dioxide is important before you learn about ventilation. Breathing or respiration is a fundamental process for our survival. It involves two primary actions, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling is the process of taking in oxygen-rich air, while exhaling involves releasing carbon dioxide. During inhalation, the diaphragm, which is an important muscle beneath our lungs, that diaphragm contracts and moves downward. This action enlarges the chest cavity. As a result, our lungs expand and fill with oxygen. During exhalation, the diaphragm relaxes, moving back upward. The chest cavity reduces in size. This forces air, now rich in carbon dioxide, out of our lungs. Role of alveoli. Inside our lungs, we find tiny air sacs known as alveoli. As the lungs expand during inhalation, these alveoli also expand. This expansion increases the surface area available for the exchange of gases, primarily oxygen and carbon dioxide, between the air and our bloodstream. If someone can't breathe properly on their own, for example, if the patient's lung is filled with blood, hemothorax, or they have inflammation in alveoli and lung disease, this routine breathing can't work efficiently so they'll suffocate due to lack of ventilation. During these clinical scenarios, mechanical ventilation can be used to reduce the breathing workload of disease-affected patients. It also helps in surgeries, severe injuries, lung diseases, and conditions affecting breathing muscles. The main function of a ventilator is to provide needed oxygen and remove carbon dioxide until the person can breathe better. Working. There are two main ways of mechanical ventilation. Negative pressure ventilation and positive pressure ventilation. Negative pressure ventilation. Negative pressure ventilation is an approach where a vacuum or negative pressure is created around the chest to help the person breathe. When negative pressure ventilation creates a vacuum around the chest, it causes chest expansion. This expansion lowers the air pressure inside the lungs, which draws air in through the nose and mouth, allowing oxygen to enter your lungs naturally. So, this mimics the natural process of breathing. In older devices like the iron lung, the patient's body was sealed inside a chamber. In newer devices, negative pressure ventilation still expands the chest to pull in air, but they're more comfortable and less restrictive than the old iron lung chambers. Coming to advantages, as we already discussed, negative pressure ventilation is done using a chamber. This is less invasive and can be more comfortable for the patient. However, it may be less effective in severe respiratory conditions and restrict the movements of patients. 
Next, we'll see about positive pressure ventilation. Positive pressure ventilation involves pushing air or oxygen into the patient's lungs under pressure. I think it may be a little bit confusing. I'll explain with an example. So, basically, in positive pressure ventilation, air or oxygen is pushed into the patient's lungs under pressure. When this pressure is released, the natural elasticity of the lungs allows the air to come out. It's like inflating a balloon. When you stop blowing, the air comes out on its own. Recent advances in technology led to the development of more sophisticated mechanical ventilators. These machines allowed precise control of various parameters like tidal volume, respiratory rate, and oxygen concentration. They are used in various medical settings, including intensive care units, during surgeries, and for patients with respiratory conditions. Coming to pros and cons of positive pressure ventilation. This positive pressure ventilation has benefits like control and life support, but it can potentially harm the lungs and be invasive. It's effective for emergencies but may have drawbacks with prolonged use. And there you have it. We've explored the principles of both negative and positive pressure ventilation. I hope you like this video. Subscribe to this channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.